Hi guys, welcome to Bream Time. On this channel I show you underwater footage of my bream fishing sessions. In this episode I'm going to talk about two different kinds of bites and what that means for your fishing. Okay guys, here you can see that the fish was more or less standing out there when I came. I just I just put out the bait and the tench was standing there. In this session I'm fishing a boily boosted with amino acids. The boily in itself is boosted with amino acids and the dip I'm using is also an amino dip, so they will get plenty of amino acids down there as long as you're there as long as you're there the morning sessions with the morning lights are just the best you catch more and the beauty of the morning light is fantastic uh, using this bait and watching how the fish behaves around these amino baits um, are quite interesting uh, because it makes a couple of things clear that I want to share with you in this episode. Here you can see what's special about this bait. The fish pick it up, spit it out, pick it up, spit it out, over and over again. So what I'd like to point out in this session is that there are really two types or kinds of baits because they provoke two different kinds of bites. These amino baits, they provoke a special kind of bite that I call the pickup bite. The intention doesn't seem to be to swallow the bait. Instead they pick it up, they taste it and then they spit it out again. And they do the same, same thing over and over. Uh, my interpretation is that um, it's something that's too strong, it's too much of something. Like when you're mixing lemonade and the lemonade gets too strong. I don't know. But this is just my ideas. If you have other suggestions and interpretations, feel free to comment below. So, if this is the first way of biting the pick up, pick up bite, the other one I call the full take bite. The full take bite means that the fish will pick it up and swallow the bait right away without any hesitation. It's very easy to hook the fish if they do these full take bites. One implication of these two different kinds of bites is that um, as you can see here uh, I can't hook the fish and that's because at least that's what I think the hook link is too long. If I had used a shorter hook link, I would have caught this fish a long time ago. When you have the other type of bites, the full take baits, you can't really go wrong because if it's long you catch them, if it's short you catch them also. So the rig itself doesn't affect if if you catch because you would catch on anything. But when it, it comes to what you see in this episode, the pickup bites, catching fish is much more related to what kind of uh, rig you have. In this case, 
it's quite clear to me at least that the hook link is just too long. With a shorter hook link, I think I would have caught this fish a long time ago. I tried to replace on you, tried to give up on you, but I can't, you know I can't. So what this means is that if you're fishing these pickup baits, you really need a short hook link, otherwise you won't catch. You won't even notice that the fish are there. As I did in this session, the alarms, my alarms didn't beep, nothing happens. I had no idea that there were fish all over most of the time in this session. Another lesson from this is that the length of the hook link is not just a, an issue related to specific days, specific fish, or those kind of things. It's also related to what kind of bait you're fishing. One bait demands a shorter hook link, other might demand a longer hook link. Sometimes you see the tench come in pairs. Uh, quite often they come alone. An observation that uh, I've made about tench and bream. From the bank, if I count the fish I catch during the summer session or over the summer, I would say that there are roughly 20% tench and 80% bream. But uh, after I started using cameras, I see that that is just not the case. Because the thing is that the um, tench are much more interested and less picky about what you give them. It doesn't matter if it's corn, boilies, pellets, whatever. They take whatever you give them. The bream are much more picky. So that means if there are a tench on the swim, most of the time you would catch it. Bream on the other hand, they are much more picky. They can decide that they are just going for one color, one kind of bait, one whatever. Or some days they won't take anything. They just swim around and have a good look but don't take anything. So in that way you get the impression that there are much more tench than bream because if there's one tench there you are very likely to catch it but there can be 10 bream swimming around but you won't catch any of them. Here it, it looks like it, the fish couldn't find really, it knew that the bait was there but uh, there was some other stuff there. These things might be the same way in your swim but things might also be different. But uh, what I hope is that this might at best inspire you to do some own thinking about what's happening down there. Tonight, tonight, tonight. I just 
Okay, but why should you ever use a pickup bait when there are other types and kinds of baits that that provokes the full bites? Well, the reason is that some days no fish would take the full bite baits because on some occasions and some days the fish just won't touch the full bite baits but they might be very interested in the pickup baits so that means with the right rig you might catch a lot on these pickup baits but you won't catch anything on the full bite baits if you want to see more underwater footage of tents you can follow the link in the corner Oh, <laughs>